Hey, 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 here's the boat dock. I call this the Blue Beast 2750 Stabby Center Cab. Ooh la la, you got a lot of deck room in this baby. I'm gonna unleash the beast power in this and I take her out. You got a set of two hunters, you're gonna love them. Uh, you got a right hand rotation, cups to the right, left hand, you can tell, cups to the left, like this. So 17 pitch, it looks like they're 14 diameter. Uh, total salt water protected, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, internal zincs, every cylinder on the head. Zinc up underneath there, that's the torque fin. You really don't need it with twins anyway, the torque fin. That looks like it's a Garmin uh, GTM 51. Uh, they're my good transducers, that's one of their best ones. Uh, then you got all your chambers, chambers, main hole. That one over there is for your drain, for your, uh, actually, if you're not using the boat, it's sitting outside, it rains. That way you pop that so them automatic build pumps don't keep running non-stop. Then that's your chamber, main hole, chamber, then drain on the other side. Uh, it's got your rocket launchers, handrail up there, speakers, it's got two there, two inside. Uh, beautiful boat, there's your gas vent. It's got the open array Garmin. I don't know if that's a 72 mile out or 48. I'm going to put about 60 gallons of non-ethanol, two rear deck lights, anchor light. Uh, it does have some grind spots. you got decal off the back, port rear, kind of wrinkled up and scuffed up right there and on top. Tie downs, hooks, right there. And then your trailer, you got four by fours with uh, slicks. Uh, these are right. You need to get these within a finger. Just almost touching. That way it's accurate every time you put it on. Double dip galvanized. These look like 16 inch. There are six lugs, about 110 pound torque, gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad, discs on all four. Uh, these are like Carlisle tires or ST235 ADR 16s like I thought. Large, like if it's, you get a lot of water, you take some over the top, comes in here and drains out instead of going into your deck. G2, G3 tubing. Boom, boom, kind of curves under with them reverses. That's when it's coming down, it creates an air pocket and it helps slow the boat down instead of banging you. You got lifting strakes, help keeps the boat lifts it quicker. Between that and this, uh, sucker will corner on a dime. Keel roller, you don't use that again to rest the boat on. That just, again, the cross member so it doesn't hit. If you happen to not put enough into the water, that's what would happen. Spare tire, heavy duty winch, two speed on that. You got the top mount coupler, I checked the brake fluid, you got the foot jack, which is good, the heavy duty uh, chains for the trailer. The cable, that's your emergency trailer brake. Flat flip, the, those are the good ones. You got the pin on that. Um, got a trumpet horn, VHF antenna, probably the 52, the 5226. You got dual wipers, you got the anchor roller, you got the chain ropes already hooked up. And it's a Maxwell. And one nice thing with these, these curved down is what you want. Because if those are straight out, you have to help that anchor down. Oh, there's 60. I'll go ahead and put 65 in it. Because if we run it too, and I can't remember, it's a 107 gallon tank. So I'm just going to finish that off, maybe at 65. Good visibility out the side. You got the big, I think this one's got the 16 inch display in it, which is really nice. 200 and I'm pretty sure this got the rev limiter there you go so then we'll put this back right here then I got to put some diesel in it it's got the diesel heater got to get that thing primed as well and I'll do the rest when I get it on the inside that's your uh, exhaust for your diesel right here and your vent so we're going to take the blue beast to the water 